Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lit code problem number 287, find the duplicate number. In this problem, we are given an array of integers and each uh, the integer array consists of n plus 1 integers and the values range from 1 to n. So, we can just uh, given, from this given example, we can know that since there are n plus 1 integers and the values are only ranging from 1 to n, so there will be at least one number which will be repeated right because starting from one to n we only have n numbers right so to get n plus one integers we need one extra repeated number so there are at least one repeated number so given here there is only one repeated number okay so one of the numbers is repeated and it could be repeated multiple number of times so we need to solve this problem to find the repeated number without modifying the array or using um, any extra spaces so we are only going to use constant space and we are not allowed to modify this array so basically Let's look at the constraints. Um, n is starts from 1 to 10 to the power 5 and the length is equals to n plus 1, all right? And the values can vary from 1 to n and um, nums array integers appears only once except precisely one integer which appears two or more times. So given this example here we have one three four two two so all the rest of the numbers appears once except two it appears twice right similarly here three is appearing twice and rest of the numbers are appearing only once so we need to find these values the values which are appearing more than once okay so um let's start from the brute force method so let's take this example and start with a brute force method so what would you do in a brute force approach so basically you would take the first value and compare it with all the rest of the values and since it is not equal so this is not the number which is repeated next we take the next value and compare it with the rest of the values again we take 4 we compare it with the rest of the values it's not equal to 4 so next we take 2 and we compare it with the rest of the elements in the in integer area and we find that 2 is equals to this value over here right so we found our repeated number so here what are we doing we are doing one pass to pick the value and we are doing the next pass to compare the value with the rest of the elements right so basically here we are performing o of n squared time complexity we are not modifying the array we are not using any extra space but the time complexity is o of n squared um so how can we reduce the time complexity well, we can use one more approach, but that would mean that we would modify the array and that would be to sort the array. So if we were to sort this array, then we would get the values equals 1, 2, 2, 3 and 4. All right. And let us also write down the indices of this array. Okay, so the index over here is 0, 1, 2 three and four awesome now since uh, we have n plus one number of integers and um, the values ranges from one to n right and our index is starting from the value zero so our index ranges from zero to n So, uh, since our index is starting from value 0, so if we were to compare the index with the value at the given index, then index plus the value at the given index should be equals to the index plus 1. Okay, so this should be uh, the case. So if this case is true, then we return, then we keep on moving. If not, then we know that we found our repeated number. So let's check here. So it nums at uh, 0. So value at index 0 is equal to 1. 
and 1 is equals to 0 plus 1 right so we move to the next index which is equals to 1 so value at index 1 is equals to 2 and here index 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 again we move to the next index which is 2 so value at index 2 is equals to 2 here again but uh, 2 plus 1 is equals to 3 right so here we got a different value so that is when we return our value at that index so we return the value 2 as we found the um, repeated value but in this case we are modifying the array right the time complexity is log oh, n log of n as we are sorting the um, array and um, we are not actually allowed to do this because uh, in the question itself it has been said that we are not allowed to sort the array but just in case if uh, you are giving an interview and the interviewer doesn't specify that in the beginning then you can also talk about this approach now uh, let's not uh, use this approach for this one so now that you know this approach as well I would like to move on to a more optimized approach where we do not need to even modify this array and we do not need an extra space as well so that would be by using slow and fast pointer so what does slow and fast pointer do slow pointer moves only one step at a time fast pointer moves two step at a time so fast pointer is always twice um the uh, the twice the twice distance away from slow pointer okay so if we are to move slow pointer twice then we would basically reach the fast pointer so this is the uh, idea behind this um, slow and fast pointer so now let's see how we can use slow and fast pointer to find um, the repeated value okay so what are we going to do is we start both slow and fast pointer at nums with index zero so let us just write down the index values as well so now that slow pointer is equals to the uh, nums at one so nums at one is equal uh, I mean nums at index 0 is equals to 1 and similarly fast pointer will also be the same in the beginning now next starting from this point we are going to move slow pointer once and fast pointer twice so the next value would be nums at index 1 so what is the value at index 1 it is equals to 3 so slow is equals to 3 and fast will move twice so it will have value nums at nums of the fast pointer okay so that would be equals to nums of 1 what is nums of 1 nums of 1 is 3 and what is nums of 3 so that is equals to 2 right so we got the value 2 and again now we move both the pointers as long as they are not equal we keep on moving so nums at 3 is equals to 2 and here nums of nums at 2 so nums at 2 is equals to 4 and nums at 4 is equals to 2 so now here both the values um, are equal right so this still doesn't mean that uh, we are going to return the value to okay this actually means that there was a point okay so we are moving in a direction in the forward direction both slow and fast right fast is moving twice the speed so as we move there is a point there is a point a break point where fast was moving and then again it reached the same point so this is where slow and fast are meeting right at this point which is at index value equals to 2 so this is where both fast and slow meets now we know that these two values are meeting which means that um, there is a meeting point there is a loop created now we need to find um, which point is creating the loop So for that we take the slow pointer and we start from the beginning that is we start from index 0 and the fast pointer will start from the same value the point where both of them are meeting.
and then um, as we move the slow pointer and fast pointer okay so slow pointer is starting from beginning and fast pointer is starting from the point they meet so as we move both of these uh, uh, only one step now and as we are moving they meet at some point and that point is a point where uh, we are repeating okay so basically here we are repeating at point two so they meet at point two and again when we start from start the slow is started from the start and fast is starting from uh, the meeting point they meet at the same point now let's take another example um okay So let us modify this example and add a value 3 over here, okay? So what happens in this case? Um, so in this case, we are starting from the index 0. We have the value 1 for both fast and slow. And now slope moves 1 point. So value at index 1 is equals to 3. So we add the value 3 and value at index 1 is 3 and then again value at index 3 is 2 so this becomes equals to 2 next we move this one step so value at index 3 is equals to 2 and next we move these two steps so value at index 2 is equals to 4 and the value at index 4 is equals to 3 over here again we move slow one step so value at index 2 is equals to 4 value at index 3 equals 2 and value at index 2 equals 4 right so here you can see we are meeting at this value which is equals to 4 but we know that 4 is not the repeated value right 4 is uh, just a point where both of these are meeting so basically from the previous example we were meeting at the repeated value only but this is not actually always the case okay so that is why i just wanted to show you this example so in this case what's happening is we start from one okay and uh, both fast and slow are moving uh, fast is moving twice slow so as both fast and slow are moving and since we know that there is a repetition so it moves meets uh, it meets basically not at the point where it is being repeated, right? It is meeting at the point equals 4. So let me just draw this. It's easier for you to uh, visualize. So we have 1 starting from index 0, okay? We have index 1 and at 1 we have the value 3 and at value 3 we have the value 2 and at value 2 we have the value 4 and at value 4 we have the value 3 so 3 is already here so we are just going to go back right now for a start uh, starting from fast and slow so we are starting at index 1 right so both fast and slow are here and now slow moves one step so slow is here fast is over here again slow moves one step so in this case now slow reaches here and fast moves twice so fast is one two right so at index three so here is fast and here is slow now what's happening is fast is following slow fast was before now fast is backwards right uh, because of the loop now we move slow slow so slow reaches this point and we move fast and now fast also reaches this point so basically both of them met at a given point right so now taking this to this point fast will be the this will be the starting of the fast and this will be the starting of the slow now so our slow and fast will now both move only one step at a time and so here starting from slow we move one step so slow reaches over here and fast reaches okay so starting from that point we move fast and slow starting from uh, the first value so first value which is 
the value at index one so start starts from value at index one which is one and fast starts from this given point and then move one step at a time so slow moves once and fast also moves once and both of them reach the same point so this is a point where repetition is being performed okay and this is where we return our value so this is the concept behind fast and slow i hope you understood this concept so now talking about the time complexity we are only um performing one pass over this array so the time complexity would be o of n and we are only using a constant space so the space complexity is o of one so that's all about this solution now let's dive into coding so we need the fast and slow pointers both of them starting at uh, value at index 0 so fast equals nums 0 and now we are going to um, let us use do while okay while fast is not equals to slow we keep on iterating right so slow equals nums at slow and fast equals nums of nums at fast because we are moving fast twice the speed right now once we have found the meeting point we start the slow from nums zero and then while fast is not equals to slow we keep on moving each by one step only right so nums at slow and fast equals nums at fast and when both of these are equal that is when we know that we have found our uh, repeated value right so we return the value now let's try to run this code great let us add few more test cases so what if there are multiple uh, repeated values so let's check for this if there are multiple more than one repeated number great again let us also modify this test case so let us add change this to three like as in this example and let's see how it works great now let's uh, submit this awesome so this is how we solve this problem using fast and slow pointer and this problem is similar to linked list cycle problem um i would suggest you to check the linked list cycle problem on lead code and try to solve it using fast and slow pointer so it's the same concept i hope you like my solution let me know in the comments down below and please like and subscribe to my channel thank you